Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now this, the Zoom H1, has been brought into the Geekanoid studio by viewer demand. A lot of you have asked what I think of the Zoom H1, and I've never actually tested it myself, so I waited till version 2 came out, which is a firmware update for all existing models, and got the white version in to unbox in this video. Please stay tuned to the Geek and Noise channel. I'll be giving you an audio test of the Zoom H1 and also my opinion of how it performs. So this is a handy recorder. What does that mean? Well, it's an external recorder which allows you to capture great quality audio and you can use this in combination with a camcorder, a compact camera or a DSLR. You can even plug it into your computer and use it as a USB microphone because this now has the new version 2 firmware. So a quick look around the packaging, you can see here it says XY Design Capture, records WAV or WAV files and also MP3 format files to micro SDHC memory cards. Around on the back we've just got some more pictures as well as some various sort of capacity and recording uh, length details here. You can record up to, if we go to a 4 gigabyte card, 69 hours. That is absolutely amazing. So let's get this unboxed anyway, this is the unboxing and first look. So we will take this little portion out here, we can get into it. Now I must say I wasn't that impressed with the actual packaging that this came through in. It was a little bit crushed and damaged, but it's the product that counts. So let's have a look and see what we get inside the box. So the first thing we've got is a little package here. And we have probably got some instructions and warranty information in here. So let's have a little look. So first up we have got some SD card usage details, we have got Wavelab LE software, we've got details about the version 2 firmware and also a quick start guide for the Zoom H1. So all nicely presented to get us up and running. Now they also include a 2GB memory card, micro SD card in the box and we get a micro SD card to full size SD adapter. So nice that we get this included. And did I mention I got the white version? Yep, that's right, it's available in white. So I've got the white version of the Zoom H1. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. And then we've also got a single AA battery used to power the device. Can we get this out? There we go, single AA, and that keeps the recorder powered. So let's have a closer look at the Zoom H1. I'm also gonna show you a little accessory pack that I purchased as well which um, isn't a Zoom accessory pack, so I'm not going to show you that. I've covered that off in previous videos for the Zoom H2n. So this is the Zoom H1 in white. Looks really nice. Very cool. Very plasticky on first impressions, but that's uh, sort of down to the price, really. This is £79 in the UK, so very, very cheap price. And really well known for super high quality audio, so we can forgive its sort of plastic casing. We've got a speaker on the bottom here. On this side here, we've got a USB connection. We've got a power switch and hold switch. We've got a trash can button. We've got some navigation buttons for uh, playing back, pausing, and skipping tracks. Also, probably use those for navigating the menus. And then we've got an input level, sort of volume up and down for the input level. And then we've got a line in because you can actually plug in your own microphone to this if you want to. If you didn't want to use the built-in XY configuration, you can plug in a 3.5mm audio jacked microphone there. And then round on the top we've got the integrated microphones in the XY configuration. And then round on this side we've got a line out, that's a monitor so you can actually plug in via 3.5mm jack again a set of headphones you can monitor your audio. And then we've got volume up and down for that headphone out jack as well. And then just here we've got a little flap, Let's see if I can open this up. There we go, that's the little flap for the memory card. And as I say SD or SDHC memory cards can go in there. And then round on the back we've got the place where we put the battery. So the AA battery goes in there. Just pop that back into place. And then we've got a tripod mount. It is a plastic tripod mount, so you have to treat that with care. And then we've got low cut filters, we've got auto level off and on, and then we've got record format which you can switch between uh, WAV or WAV format and MP3. Then of course on the front, very very simple on the front, we've got the display, we've got the record, stop and start record button, and then we've got a record and peak LED. So this lights up when you're recording and it also changes colour if you're peaking or clipping the audio. 
If you do that, it just means you've got to adjust your audio levels or speak quieter. So that's it. This is the first look and the unboxing of the Zoom H1. Now I mentioned I bought some accessories to go with it. Nothing too exciting, but I bought these. These were super cheap off of Amazon. I think they were four pound for a pack of six. And these are just sort of a, a windshield or foam spongy shield that you can place on top here. Fits nicely and stops any pops and clicks in your audio. So again, these were just an additional purchase. These were £4.49, I think, for six, or is it five? One, two, three, four, five, and they're 45 millimeter internal diameter, uh, little foam shields. So that's it, this is the Zoom H1. Please do hit that like button. Obviously subscribe to the channel as well, because then you'll get to see my full review of this, which will include an audio test. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.